Well, I am starting out in my Creative Fabrica account. I have found a few fun things that I have downloaded here that we are going to be uploading into Canva and we are going to be editing and looking at some fun designs. So um, again, like I said, I started in my Creative Fabrica. I have the Creative Fabrica All Access. I'm actually sitting outside somewhere where it's very warm this January day. And so if you hear some background noise, that's what you're hearing. So I'm going to go to my Canva here. First thing I'm going to do, though, is go to my downloads because I downloaded um, a few things here. So I downloaded this Boho Rainbow. So I am going to extract this and then get it extracted. And then I am going to go to my next design that I downloaded here. Um, Oh, this is actually a font, and so I'm going to extract that as well. So I'm going to get it get it open here and extract that. Where is it? This one. So I'm going to extract all here and get that extracted. Now, in order to put this on to your computer, all you do is you go to the font and I'm going to be using an open type font and you just click on it here and then you just hit install right there. That's it. So it's installing it onto my computer. Now I will bring it into my Canva account. You do not need to put it on your computer to put it into your Canva account. But I get a lot of questions about how to get your fonts into like uh, Cricut Design Space. So what you would do then after you install these, you have to shut Cricut Design Space down and then reopen it and then search your system fonts for this. All right, so now let's extract our third thing here, which is this um, Valentine's Day funny. So I will get this uh, extracted as well. And I'm just going to do the PNG file here which it is black here. So I will um, save this as roses are red in my downloads. All right, so now what I'll do is I will get into my Canva here. And so I actually went into custom size and you can change your units here, but I'm going to be using an eight by eight inch that I have used in the past. So that was right on the top there for me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some of those files that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna go into um, this Boho Rainbow, Boho here, right here. And I'm going to open this and get some of these in. So I just want PNGs here. So I'm just going to click on the PNG files here. And I'm going to keep clicking on them. Get a few of them here. There's a lot in this file. So I don't think I'm going to upload them all. But we'll just go with these so far and let those start uploading. So now in order to upload the font into Canva, I'm going to add a text box here. So I'm just going to hit add a text box. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. I had to pause there for a second. Some noisy golfers came up behind me and they had some Effenheimers flying. So I thought I would move it to the inside. So now what you do when you have your text box here is you just highlight your text here and you just, well, you don't even have to highlight your text, but you just go up to here where it says Canva Sand. That's the name of your font. And then you scroll down here to upload a font. And now we're going to look in our downloads for that font, my Wednesday night. And I like using the open type font. And so it's going to ask if you can use it. And yes, I can. I have Canva Pro. And so I have a Creative Fabrica account. And so I'm able to upload that font. So now I am going to look for that font, my Wednesday, PQRS. These are fonts that I have already uploaded from Creative Fabrica. Where is it? My MY, right here, my Wednesday night. You can see that. Um, and I'm just gonna leave that sit uh, right here. I'm gonna change the name of it to my Wednesday night. So you can see. It's Wednesday night regular, and I'm just going to leave that sit there for now. We'll work on this a little bit later. We'll change the words and everything. So now we're going to go back to our uploads, and you can see that some of these images have come in. 
So I'm going to add this um, rainbow here. I should have looked. I'm going to add another page as well here. Just clicked another page and I'm going to add this one too. What I should have done was looked for some cute sayings. Let's go up here and let's go to cute sayings with a rainbow. So let's see what it comes up with here. So you can come up with all kinds of cute sayings. So rainbows are nature's smile. Let your soul be as bright as the rainbow. You color my world. Let's, let's just go with you color my world. That'll make this easier. So now I can go up here and I can click on here and I can change this to you color my world and then if you go here to color you're going to see that the colors from those two rainbows came in here so let's just pick this one for now oh, gotta highlight it sorry people gotta highlight it before it'll change it on you change it to the blue and so that's cool so that is a color right out of this rainbow and let's do the same thing here i'm going to uh, control c and control v oh. I am just having a rough time here. So I'm just going to click on that control C and then control V and add that in here too. Now I'm going to change the color of this one to match this image. So now it's going to come out of this one. So I'm going to pick this color. And so now that matches perfectly. You can see that. So now up here, if you go to advanced settings and you click on that, you can move your lines together a little bit like that. So I'm going to do the same thing here again. Move your line spacing together. And now I'm going to add another text box because we're just playing here. I'm going to add this one. And this one, I'm going to see if I can change the colors. So now, as you see, I've got this highlighted in here. And up here, you can see colors that are in the design. So you can click on this color and you can change that to really any color that you want. And it's going to um, change that color in your design. So let's go back here and go to this one now. And let's just change that to a yellow so you can see how that changes the look of the design. And you can do it to any of them. Actually, you can do whatever color you want. I mean, I'm just picking random colors here. But you could do any color that you want. So it incorporates that color into your design. So now we'll go back up here and we'll play with this a little bit. Stretch this out a little bit, make it go right over the rainbow. And then I'm going to go up here to effects and I'm going to hit the outline. I don't want that color, so I'm going to change that to white. And then you can see how that kind of shows that white outline there around that rainbow. So that is an effect that you can use there. Um, of course, you can change the font here to any font that you have installed on your um, into Canva here. And so I can do the same thing here again, go into effects and I can make an outline here. Again, I can make that white or whatever color that you want. You could change it to whatever color you want. I kind of like to do the white because it kind of gives it an offset in the background. And then let's um, see what else we can do with this one here. You can add words or you can also go into elements here and you could add a background to whatever you want. Um, go into graphics here and grab a color to put behind it or whatever you want to do. This is more of a, a screen behind it. So and then you can go to position here and send it to the back and it kind of gives you an idea there of different things that you can do. So this is just a quick video because like I said, I'm on vacation. So I thought, well, I'll just throw one together quick. So then you would go to share here and download. And because I have Pro Canva, I can raise my DPI up. We want to transparent background because I have the Pro. If you don't have a Pro, you can take your design into another um another actually you could take it right into uh, Creative Fabrica and you can go under the tools in Creative Fabrica. Let me get to it here. So we could go to tools here again and we can find our background remover. Go to AI Studio here. 
and just um, background remover right here it is so then you can add your file when you download it if it has a background and then you can remove your background here and this um, is part of the Creative Fabrica membership, but there are other background removers that you could use as well. So let's get back to our design here. So now I'm going to download these three images and I will show you what they look like. We're going to go in and we are going to extract them as soon as they're done downloading here, the same as we did our other images. So let's get in here and get this download. Um, pulled up so that I can extract them. Here we go. All right, so now I'm going to extract these the same way. And extract all. Here we go. Um, let's see. You can name it whatever you want. It just brought in what I had typed in the box the, the original time. You could call this You Color My World or whatever you want. So now I'm going to go in to my downloads here and let's take a peek at our designs. So here they come up. Of course, they look like they have a black background here, but they don't. That's just because they're a clean image, well, a clear image, I should say, clear background. And here is the second one. And here is the third one. And so I hope this helps. Let me know what you think by leaving me a comment and please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. See links below and leave me a comment.